Hello again, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm gonna do a redo of my buttercream birch tree cake tutorial. For starters, I thought it might be helpful for you to know that I make my own cake boards. I use my Martha Stewart circle cutter to cut, begin the cut and then a scalpel tool to finish it. After I cut them out completely, I cover them with contact paper. The reason I prefer to cut them out myself is because I can measure them exactly the size I need based on how thick I want the buttercream to be. This will make more sense in a minute. I generally make my boards about an eighth of an inch larger than the size of the cake tier that I'm going to be stacking on it. Go ahead and stack all of your tiers. I do this style of cake or similar ones often, but this time this cake was a three tier with 10 inch, 8 inch, and 6 inch tiers. Although I've done these techniques on anything from a one tier cake all the way up to five. Once all your tears are stacked and chilled, you'll want to take a light brown color of buttercream icing and spread it over the top of the cake. And then place a piece of wax paper over the top of that, cake board over the top of that, and flip the entire thing upside down and level it. Next, you need to take a bench scraper and remove all the brown frosting flush with the side of the cake. Often we use the cake board as a guide when doing this, but this time you'll want to just tip it in enough that it is actually flush with the side of the cake. You'll be able to see why in a minute when we flip the cake back over, but it's because you want a nice thick layer of white buttercream that we're going to apply soon to show when the cake is right side up. Do the same thing with all of your tiers. After you've let all your cakes chill just a bit, we're gonna go ahead and start applying that white buttercream all around the outside. Once you have a nice thick layer on, you're gonna use your bench scraper and you're gonna hold it 90 degrees against the side of the cake using the board as a guide, which is why we measured that board just a little bit larger than the size of the cake. Do the same thing with all of your cakes, letting them chill after you get them coated. Once they've chilled, you can pull them out and you can put a second layer of buttercream over the first to fill in all the holes and imperfections and then use a hot bench scraper to get it even smoother. This is definitely my own clean style of a birch tree cake. Some people like the buttercream to be a little bit more rustic looking. Once you flip the cake back over, you'll have this beautiful top where the brown buttercream is. You can peel off the wax paper and use a little knife or a small tool to kind of clean up any messy sections. The next step is to take a paper plate with some warm brown airbrush color and some round circle cutters to make the indentions of the rings in the top of the cake. On the tiers that I didn't have big enough circle cutters, I would just use a cake pan to make an indention and then paint it by hand. You can also use a Dresden tool or another clay modeling tool to make the cracks in the center of the tree stump. Then you'll just use the same airbrush color to paint the inside of them. The next phase is to use a Wilton marker tool in that same airbrush color to draw lines around the cake. You'll want to keep adjusting the marker so that all of your lines are not in the exact same spot. Also, since this cake is buttercream, you want to make sure you press very gently.
Once this part is done, I add some white food coloring to the brown airbrush color that I already have, and I start to paint some more brown sections onto the outside of the bark. These should be really random in both size and placement. It's probably obvious, but this is also a very well chilled cake. To really bring this cake to life, we're going to airbrush the top with some of the same warm brown airbrush color, focusing mainly on the rings. If you don't have an airbrush, you can get the same effect by hand painting with the airbrush color as I did in my original buttercream birch cake tutorial. If you're nervous about getting the airbrush color on the sides of the cake, you can create a long strip of parchment paper to cover the sides of the cake, but as you can see, I didn't have a problem with that. Just keep your airbrush settings and pressure on low and you should be good to go. If you're not going to have a border on your cake and you need to cover that small bit of cake board showing at the bottom, you can do as I did and pipe a small strip of buttercream and then use a damp paintbrush to spread it along the cake board. That's it for how to make the birch tree stump tiers. Now I'm just going to stack my tiers using some bubble tea straws. I like to keep these cakes chilled through the entire process and definitely through the stacking. For this particular version of this cake, I'm using a clay modeling tool to carve out a heart and some initials. I like to try to carve it exactly as I imagine I would carve out a tree, using only straight lines and no curves. Once you're done carving, you can use the same airbrush color to paint in the grooves.
as I paint, my brush is picking up the extra buttercream and I'm just wiping it on a damp towel. Next, I'm finishing the stacking. You can tell the cakes are chilled or I wouldn't be able to handle them this way. The last step is to insert my wooden dowel to ensure the cakes don't get warm and slide on each other. After that, you're free to insert any flowers or pine cones or other decorations you might need for your cake. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.